Divorce beheaded died. Divorce beheaded survive. That was the pattern of the six wives of King Henry VIII. Catherine of Aragon, the first wife of King Henry VIII, known as the humble and loyal wife, married first to Henry VIII's older brother Arthur, Catherine was a Spanish princess who delivered Henry his daughter Mary but no living sons. Although Catherine was the consuming a concert ignoring Henry's mistresses, affairs, and even a bastard son for 20 years. Her intense pride would not allow Henry to easily cast her aside when he fell in love and wanted to make Anne Boleyn his new queen. She was tried of the queenship and everything that came with it and even forcibly separated from her only child, she would die sad and alone, but still beloved by the English subjects. The second wife who was beheaded, Anne Boleyn. The most infamous royal consort of all time, Anne was a maid in Queen Catherine's household when she caught the eye of the king who was already having an affair with her sister Mary Boleyn. Refusing to sleep with him for more than six years, Anne held out for the throne and won it. Anne would deliver Henry the daughter Elizabeth but no living sons and would be the victim of a smear campaign that would end in her execution. Jane Seymour, the third wife of King Henry VIII, bound to obey and serve the king, she was known as the most favorite and beloved wife of King Henry VIII, probably because she gave birth to the long-awaited son of King Henry. But sadly, a few days after giving birth, she died. The fourth wife. Anne of Cleves, the German princess who brought to England by Thomas Cromwell to marry Henry and ensure the continued progress of the Protestant Reformation. When she did not leave to the expectation of King Henry VIII, their marriage was moved to be annulled immediately. But unlike Catherine of Aragon, Anne of Cleves did not protest. As a result, she was treated as the king's beloved sister. She was given lands, castles, and a comfortable life in England. Catherine Howard, the fifth wife, a young girl brought up in her aunt's house with other noble children and with little to no supervision. As a result, Catherine was not pure and virtuous as Henry believed her to be when he met her and made her his 17-year-old queen. She soon returned to her old ways. She bring men to her chamber, and her popular affair was with Thomas Culpepper. She would lose her head for her indiscretion. Catherine Parr, the sixth wife. Unlike the other five queens, Catherine had been married prior to attracting Henry's attention. She became Henry's companion in his old age and nursed him until his death. After the death of King Henry, she married Thomas Seymour and had a daughter named Mary Seymour, but she died of childbirth.